What's up everybody? Welcome back to No Control RC. Today we're going to check out this cool little rig right here. So we've got the FMS Atlas 6x6. So I haven't actually really seen one of these and we just got it. Picked it up on clearance for a pretty damn good price. So uh, let's open this bad boy up. <laughs> do a good job boxing these. You go over there. <laughs> That is a nice foam. All right, so here she is. We've got some paperwork. We'll check that out in a second. Now let's get the, the real, what we're looking for out of here. There's this cool little rig, and then you got your uh, slide together remote set up. And there's a little charging thing in there. All right, so let's, uh, ooh. looks kind of cool. So, I don't know, why don't we bring this thing in, take a close look at it. All right, so you can kind of see, I mean, first of all, I mean, we all have fun with four wheels, so why not six? A little something different, you know, you can see underneath it, you even got the actual connecting drive shaft. It's actually really six-wheel drive, so the tires feel pretty cool. Um, so, be interesting to see if there's any sort of advantage to that. I think more than likely it's just probably because it's kind of cool looking. So, uh, yeah, we'll start looking at her from front to back here. Now we, so you can see, you know, here's everything, your little front guard. The only thing immediately I, when we were kind of messing around with it is, uh, now if you want to get into this thing to put the battery in or do anything or change it. So the battery is right here and you got these easy to mess up little rubber bands on here but um it's kind of depending on the size of your hands it's a little bit difficult to really get in there and then this thing i mean it's magnetic that's really cool you know see stay shut but <laughs> you got to kind of put something in there to hold it open she just wants to keep shutting so since we got this open let's see if we can get a peek in there so up here, you got your old integrated speed control, everything on off switch. Here's all your little wires and all that. So you got your 55 turn motor with your transmission, and everything, all the usual setups in there. It's got side pipes. You got that going for you. So kind of cool looking. I just I kind of wish this hood, the body itself, would flip open a bit more. Yeah, you could probably take this off. You could take the bumper off if you want it. She'd probably fold right open, but then you kind of lose the look of that. So it does have LED lights front and rear. And, uh, oh, that's right. We kind of check this out. Come on, get to it. This open, this is supposed to open up. Now, it's a functioning toolbox. It doesn't come with tools. But if you've got anything spare you want to throw in there, uh, I guess you could do that. I don't know. You can't really get a six pack or anything in there. Um, does have an actual, it says functioning rear uh, extra tire. So for some reason you blow one of these bad boys off, you got a spare right there. Um, but yeah, we'll start focusing back on the bottom here. But yeah, like I said earlier, so it has a chassis mounted servo up front here where you got your uh, cross link to steer it just like that. So. Nothing really seems to hit or bind, so that's good. Short little front drive shaft, then you got you know your rear drive shaft and connecting drive shaft. Suspension wise, everything seems like it moves really smoothly. Got a uh, kind of true to everything else. Here's your uh, kind of a plate style frame setup happening in there. So other than that, that's really pretty much it. Just kind of cut and dry. Kind of a cool looking 18th scale 6x6. Like I said, I don't know if there's any sort of advantage to having six wheels and tires. I guess technically seven because that one actually works. Um, but I think the next thing we're going to have to do is uh, we're going to have to take it out and see what happens when you actually run it around. Because uh, I'm kind of curious. All mine have had uh, at least four wheels on them, not six. So I guess we might as well see what this thing does.
All right, so we just ran our Atlas six by six, and you know, kind of right off the bat, I mean, you kind of getting kind of what you expect with this. It's six wheel drive; they're all all locked. So thing does climb pretty well, but you do sacrifice things like turning radius. So the turning radius on this really isn't that great. But if you got a decent environment, you know, you don't have to tell you, you can back up a couple times so you can make the turn. But performance wise, the thing actually didn't do half bad, honestly. It was a pretty fun time. I mean, obviously it's not a rocket ship, it's not super fast. But uh it seems to flex even having uh this really long wheelbase and everything, the, the rear axles do seem to work pretty independently very well. So uh we were able to I don't think it being six and longer wheelbase hindered it in really any way. The only thing I would say is maybe you sacrificed a hair on the turning radius. So all in all, honestly, it was a pretty good time. Pretty fun. Uh, obviously the remote, you know, it's the small kind of toy, whatever remote. You've got your little bag right here. And the cool thing is it actually comes with a certificate from uh, Germany saying you're allowed to use the frequency, which I've actually never seen that before, but you're going to get that with this. So, uh, Hey, not really much else to say for it. Uh, it is what it is. It's a pretty good time. Body never flipped open, so the magnet held well. But uh, all in all, can't really complain too much. So, hey, like and subscribe. Comment anything cool you want to see, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Brandon liked it. I thought it was boring. <laughs>